showcase of the regular season, Christmas Day. Greg, what a special day this has become on the NBA calendar. It's really an honor to get to play in one of these games. Everyone is watching while they open presents or have dinner with their families. This is a lot of fun. Look at the 76ers starting group. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with DeAnthony Miller. And it's Harris in at the three. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It's going to be Embiid shooting. It's on Mitchell Robinson. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injuries. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. Hey, there's no denying the direction in Philly. They want to win now. The Sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now, and I like seeing that. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. you got to love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. defense Philadelphia it's a three-point game here's Brunson to get open is Robinson Brunson good and for the 76ers organization the expectation is of course Clark a championship and that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential MVP in Joel Embiid I mean he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Randall with a screen for Brunson. Baseline jumper. The shot will not fall. And Philadelphia the other way now. Now, here's Melton. That's game he had 13. The jump hook. He can't get that one. The Knicks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Randall passes to Barrett. Robinson a screen on Hart. Back to Randall. And he banks in the layup. And saying, you want a piece of this? Randall easily getting the better of that exchange. And Bede with a screen on Brunson. Harden against Brunson. Harden kicks to Melton. Makes it off the glass. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. The Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Brunson the pass to Grind. New York moving the ball around. Here's Randall. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Randall's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, you know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randall. And I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. Now, here's Tucker. Melton feeling it out a bit. And Bede sets the pick for Melton. Five on the clock. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Here's a look at some stats for Tucker. Last season's performance for him last season put up about seven points a game five rebounds and two assists and there isn't much to write home about with his numbers i think he'd like to up his contribution yeah but you got to earn that chance i mean you get what you earn his numbers are fine but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch now here's randall we saw him with 29 points last game And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And Embiid has got the ball here for Philadelphia. From deep. 
It's rebounded by Brunson. New York trailing. Randall outside. Now the pass to Brunson. Over Harden. The shot's good from Brunson. A fantastic decision making big. Randall with the right choice there. Finding the open man. Harden outside. Passes it to Embiid. In the corner, it's Harris. Over Barrett. Another miss by Philadelphia. Knicks have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Brunson with it, and it's Harden picking him up. Runs in the pass to Grind. A three-pointer, no good. 76ers have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. Harden outside. Pass to Embiid. And Tucker has it in the corner. Here's Melton. Hits the three-point bomb. Melton's got five points so far. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Randall finds Brunson. It's hauled in by Harris. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Pass to Tucker. And beat inside. Guarded by Robinson. Harden against Brunson. And there's the pass to Barrett. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Embiid against Barrett. Embiid kicks to Melton. Here is outside. Here's Embiid. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Seven points in the game. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Here's Brunson, true on the 14-footer. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Passes it to Tucker. Kicks to Embiid. Pass to Tucker. Harris with it. He dishes it to Harden for three. A shot off that time. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Grind. Spirit with the ball. Here's the three. No good on that one. Melton passes to Harden. Here's the three. It's good from long range. And the 76ers lead by five. You can't let Harden get comfortable from outside the arc. I mean, he's capable of raining threes in bunches. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's Grimes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And here's Harden. Embiid, the pass to Melton. Embiid with the screen on Brunson. Here's Melton. Some solid defense from Robinson. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Randall kicks to Brunson. Back to Randall. Got a piece of it. Now Embiid, seven points in the game. The feed to Tucker. Robinson with the block, and he gets it back. It's good. Embiid's got nine. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Randall a screen on Hart. Runs in the pass to Randall, and Randall throws it down. And rolling with such quickness. There's just no way to keep Randall from scoring that. 
Harden with it. What a tremendous game he played against the Clippers. Robinson with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. George Niang, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Here's Harden. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. The 76ers with another miss. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but... Maybe they wanted him to take that shot. Baited him into it. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Let's look at the energy steps, how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And you're also seeing that high motor in terms of their ability to block shots or alter them, bringing that presence defensively. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Daniel House comes in for Harris. And it's Jake Milton in for DeAnthony Melton. You know, he can be your primary scorer, but he also can be your primary playmaker offensively. Harden does everything at a diamond level. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. With the break in the action, we've got a chance now to look at last year's top rebounders. Fifth, Joel Embiid. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? On defense, Philadelphia. They're leading by eight. Fades back. And Barrett gets it to go. An effective mid-range score. Barrett excels at finding openings in the defense and capitalizing. Here is House. Barrett covering. Stolen by Quickly. And a fast break now for New York. Over Milton. The second effort. And Barrett gets it to go. Barrett's got his second basket. Man, sometimes it feels like Barrett wants it more than anyone else on the floor. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. The pass to Milton. Fires the three. Knocks down the three ball. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Passes it to Sims. Feeds to Barrett. On the wing quickly. Carries it from three-point range. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Now here's Milton. One forty-three left here in the opening quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Embiid. It's tipped. One-on-one, -on -one fast break. Pass to quickly. And here's Barrett. He kicks it to Sims. New York moving the ball around. Shoots a fader. And it's quickly missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's Harden. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Here's McBride, guarded by Harden. Quickly with a wide open look. That shot, no good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but 
on occasion you'll have periods like this. The baseline J again Philadelphia. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Here's Sims still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Now, here's Barrett. He's guarded closely. He gets that one. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Here's Milton. Last game we saw him score 13. To the inside, here's Embiid, and they pick up two. Embiid's got 13. You know, every year Embiid seems to kick his scoring up just a notch. He, I think he realizes how dominant he can be. A big-time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for the 76ers. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all, and he looks to be planning for more. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a... Clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Next trail by eight. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Emmanuel quickly out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center position. There the group New York will start the second one. Now here's Brunson. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. Taking a look here at numbers for Tobias Harris. Good season for him last year. Put up about 17 points a game six rebounds and three assists and you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points he is one of them yeah he sure is and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games if he has an off night he usually follows that up with a big night now here is Harris they lead by eight that's the biggest of the game and he can't extend the lead to double digits Randall surveying the D and Brunson has it in the corner. A three-pointer is right on target. Brunson's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Knicks. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. For three, Harris gets rebounded by New York. And here's Brunson. There's the dish to Barrett. On the wing quickly. And the three off target. The 76ers leading by five. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Hilton the pass to Harris. Fires for three. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got four rebounds in this game. to quickly now here's Barrett and the pass to Randall over Milton that's good from Randall on the assist from Barrett Randall's got eight points you know it's encouraging to see Randall working on this shot you can tell he wants to get better from there Milton passes to Milton Harris outside gets it to go from beyond the arc Harris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Passes to Quickly. Here's Randall. To the paint. Here's Barrett. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And that's all the defense can do. Barrett just appeared determined to score. Didn't care who was on it. 
Wilton, the pass to Harris. Harris missing again. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Pass to Hartenstein. Some nice passing by New York here. Randall. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth, and it's not usually literal. But what's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally, and, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. Well, Shake Milton Clark is 6'5", has a 7-foot wingspan. I mean, that is insane size for a guard. It sure is, Kevin. I mean, that's um, freakish length when you're only 6'5". And it allows Milton to guard positions one through four. And I think that's critical in today's NBA with all of the switching we see defensively. So Shake's effort level helps him on defense as well. It's the wingspan and the want to that make him a versatile defender. He hits the second from the line. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. The defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. The 76ers leading by three. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And now let's have a look at the teams that were last year's best from the free throw line. The 76ers number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws. And I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Now Randall, after Jalen Brunson missing on that last three-pointer. Plays with nice force. I mean, Randall heading to the line now. New York shooting their first free throws of the game. Shooting two. That free throw good from Randall. And you know, the impressive ascension of Randall has been a lot of fun to watch. I mean, he's a double double threat who plays with relentless energy. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Philadelphia has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Milton finds Milton. Back to Milton. Beyond the arc. Hangs home the trifecta. Milton's got eight. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Here's Brunson. It's good. Look at that basket. He's now five for nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here's Milton. Harrell was screen on Brunson. In the corner, it's Harris. From the arc. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds now tonight. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Randall kicks for quickly. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Quickly's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Now Milton. Pass to Harris. Takes the three. That's good. A tough shooting night. He's two for eight and looking for more. Yep. You know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch. Building some momentum. 
Barrett, wide open, he fires. And again, New York with the triple. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Milton. Harris missing again. In the corner, Barrett with it. And again, New York with the triple. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Anytime your field goal percentage is in the high 50s, partner, you're doing something right. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And the Knicks make a change here. Grimes has checked in. Fifth and opponent field goal percentage. And they were in the top 10 in terms of opponents' points per game up there with some of the very best in our league. And, and you just mentioned it. What a year it was for them on the glass. The sheer effort and energy they put into their rebounding was tremendous. Now, here's Milton. Harris outside. He scores for only his third time tonight. Now three for ten, taking the climb out of the hole. A real comfort zone for Harris. I mean, he's looking to score often from this area. 76ers have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Now, here's Milton. Brunson covering. The pass to Niang. From past the arc, sinks the three-pointer. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Now here's Brunson. Defense right on him. This is it to Hartenstein. And he jams it with authority. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low. Really difficult for them to defend. Perilous screen on Brunson. Let's it go. Harold, that's good. And the 76ers lead by two. <laughs> Guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harold with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got 13 points. With the ball on the string, just getting anywhere he wants to go. Milton with it. Pass to Harrell. Floats one up, and it's denied. Up top, Randall. He's defended by Harrell. Randall passes to Brunson. Floats it up for Randall. Hartenstein can't get it to go. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On the wing, Melton. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Harris has got three assists now in this one. He's certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game, his second in this quarter. Now here's Brunson. Coming in off a 12-point game in his last outing. They get it back, Randall, and he makes good on the layup. Randall's got nine points now in the quarter. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Timeout called the 76ers. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. And some changes here for the 76ers. Joel Embiid comes in for Montrez Harrell. And James Harden has subbed in for Shake Milton.
Here is Harden. Eight points for him. Pass to Melton. And the layup's good off the glass. Melton's got 13 points. Well, I love what he's done in this first half, at least so far. Increasing confidence every time down the floor. You can see it. There's the screen. Here's Randall. James Harden with the rebound. Philadelphia leading by three. A pass to Niang. Quickly against Embiid. Stolen by Quickly. To the middle. Here's Brunson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. That one falls for Brunson. For Philadelphia, they've gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Now, here's Melton. He's got 13. From 17 feet out. And the 76ers tack on two more. Harden, so versatile offensively. He initiates. He can play off the ball. He can beat you in transition. He's going to get his points. You can bet on that. Here's Grimes. He points his last outing. The rebound by Niang. The 76ers lead. 158 left to play here in the second quarter. Melton against Brunson. Melton passes to Embiid. Shot clock at six. It's rebounded by New York. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Randall, and it's good. Two points. Randall's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Quickly against Harden. Now here's MB. Defense is right there. On the wing, Melton. Brunson covering from the baseline. Here's Embiid. Got a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. The 76ers making the switch here. House is checked in. New York's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Quickly the pass to Grind. Up top, Randall. Eighteen feet out, and there are the Knicks with another bucket. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And beat the screen. Melton pitch to Embiid. Nailed from three-point land. Embiid's got 16. Embiid's consistency from deep is really quite remarkable, and I just see him continuing to take his game to new heights. Now here's Randall. He's got 19. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Boy, the creative finishing ability of Randall. Draws a lot of fouls. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. 76% from the line a season ago. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw good from Randall. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Both free throws good from Randall. 12 seconds left now here in the second. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Embiid. One second left. And that's the final possession with the nice defense right there. Julius Randle getting it done for the Knicks. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a master quarter. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Coach. This team is still developing. What do they need to do to really reach their max? Just keep working every day. Give maximum effort, great concentration, and play to win. Make winning plays. Sounds simple, but I know it's not, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And as we welcome you to the studio, we call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. Moving on now to the first half of play. And how about Julius Randle's contribution? You like his mentality, getting his feet wet in the paint and pressing the attack around that rim. If the defense can't stop it, stick with it. Nothing wrong with point-blank looks. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Taking a look at the 76ers. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with the Anthony Melt. And it's Harris in at the small forward. Nice move. And the jam by Harden. Harden throwing it down right in their faces. Don't be so mean, James. Here's Brunson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Brunson's got 16 points. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Harris against Barrett. Harden trying to get open. A nice shot by Harris. He's got 10. 
Harris has really become much more adept at finishing hard shots. Great focus there. Runs in the pass to Barrett. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. So it's Philadelphia now. Harden outside. Pass to Tucker. He feeds it to Embiid. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Well, while we have a second, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Number one is Joel Embiid. And he's not going to forget that season anytime soon. And it's safe to say neither will anyone who watched him. Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. And Harden wide open. He shoots from outside off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Brunson against Harden. Now here's Brunson. Tight defense on him. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. That's three of four here to start the half. Here's Harden. And the can by Harden. Ferociousness from Harden. Looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Pass to Brunson. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to be on James Harden. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. This is his second trip to the free throw line. 84%. That's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. That one falls for Brunson. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Trailing by four. Melton passes to Embiid. Dishes to Harden. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. Harden's got 17. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Robinson, a screen on Harris. There at the pass to Robinson. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. And so it's New York with it. It's a one-point game. First in free throw percentage. And they were in the top ten in blocks. That, that was the core element of their squad, keeping bodies in the paint and preventing those easy buckets. And going back to their success at the free throw line last season, GA, best in the league. It helped them finish off a lot of close games. And he makes the first. And both free throws, good for Brunson. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Harden against Brunson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows 
how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. Shooting two. That free throw missing. Good on the second free throw. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Brunson kicks to Randall. And then Randall slams it in. <laughs> you gotta have guts and hops to pull off a dunk like that. Randall got a lot of both. Harden the pass to Harris. And Bede with a screen on Barrett. Harris drives in and slam dunk by Harris. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. And here's Melton. He's got 13. And Bede with a screen on Brunson. Here's Harden. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And let's take a moment to look at some stats for Randall. He's coming off an excellent season. Last season, he averaged 20 points a game, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these. Take break. Take that break. is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. First one falls for him. Shake Milton. He's checked in for the 76ers. Both free throws good for James Harden. Now Barrett. 16 points for him. There's the pass to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. It's deflected. And he gets it back. But Trey... And the Knicks hit again from deep. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. I bet there for Embiid. It's rebounded by Brunson. Brunson's got five rebounds tonight. Randall no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Passes it to Harden. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Harden's got 12 points in just the second half. The Knicks leading by three. Pass to Barrett. Here's Grimes. Wing shot on the way. They get the rebound. Robinson. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. The Knicks have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. The Knicks making a switch here. Sims has checked in. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Here's Harden. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harden's got 24. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? 
there at the pass to Robinson. Here's Grimes. Kicks it to Barrett. Pass to Grimes. Trills the three-pointer. Grimes has got himself on the board with three there. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Here's Tucker. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now here's Harden after R.J. Barrett's miss. But on that shot, with that, the Nick lead is cut to just five points on the basket for Milton. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. New York calls timeout. Real quickly, he's checked in for New York. And Philadelphia also making a switch. George Niang, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. New York leading by five. The pass to Brunson. Over Harden. Sims kicks to Brunson. Got it. Good job in the low post. Brunson's got 30 points. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Milton with it. Six points for him. Harden outside. Philadelphia moving the ball. Shoots from the block. Robinson pulls it in. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Here's Brunson. And MB with the block. He is such a well-coordinated, fluid athlete for his side. Joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. But on that shot, with that, the Nick lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Harris. Now, here's quickly. Six points for him. Robinson finds Barrett. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Aggressive and physical. Barrett creating the contact there to draw the foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for New York. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. And also, got to be impressed with their interior play, getting it in the paint and figuring out ways to score. The 76ers trail by eight. Here is Harden. 24 points for him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, there's a reason Harden's at or near the leaders in free throws attempted every season. You know, he's really honed in on that ability to draw fouls. He's made it virtually an art form. Shoot two. And the first one drops. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half. Going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw line.
and both free throws good for James Harden. New York leading by six. Here's McBride. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. This is it to Barrett. Launches a three. No good there. And the 76ers go the other way with it. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's falling here since. Here's Milton. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Milton's got nine. Boy, what a find. Harden's passing skill. Incredible. James did win an assist title, you know. Barrett against Harris. And the rejection by Embiid. Harden outside. Here's Harris. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. The 76ers have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. A free throw off from Harris. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. On the wing, Harden, for the lead. It's rebounded by New York. Sims has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's McBride. And the Knicks miss again. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the 76ers. They trail by one. And bead the screen. Harden can't hit. New York's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Here's quickly. And that time, also a missed shot. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Harris passes to Milton. Back to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. I'll tell you what, fellas. Like seeing Harris be engaged from there. I mean, refusing to settle for the simple layup. Nice finish. McBride passes to Quickly. This one for three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harris has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Harden outside. We've got 148 left in the third. And out of bounds as the next game possession. And checking out some numbers for Barrett. A very nice season for him last year. He's averaged 20 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. The, the real story, though, is how big of an impact he makes on the defensive end. Absolutely. I mean, he's a lockdown guy for him, both on the ball and when helping out. Now, here's Barrett. 19 points in the game. Here's a Sims. The layup missed. Philadelphia has gone a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Harden the pass to Harris. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists in the game. Oh, great ball movement there. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
Anthony Melton. He's checked in for James Harden. All right, a moment to check out stats for MB. Coming off a terrific season. First in scoring, fifth in rebounding, and he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And his unmatchable instincts for scoring the basketball. That's what made him number one last year. You can't stop him, and you can't even really contain him. One twelve left to play here in the third. And here is Quickly. He's got six. He kicks to Sims. Five to shoot. Here's Barrett. Pass to McBrun. New York missing again. The 76ers leading by four. Niang passes to Milton. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Barrett. Trying to get something going. Count that one. Barrett's got seven points for the quarter. Incredible night for Barrett. He scores in a multitude of ways, and he brings the effort on every possession. Milton nails the baby hook. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Here's Barrett. He's got 21. Over Harris. Barrett with another miss. James Harden getting it done for the Philadelphia 76ers. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. Back right after this. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. Guys, once the ball started moving, great job. Offensive rebound. Swing the ball. Get that lead, man. Big down. Big down. Well, Greg, Tom knows there's more work to be done. Uh, they have to keep chipping away here. It must continue to string together strong possession. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. The post pair for it. It's Randall and Hartenstein. Emmanuel quickly out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett at the three, the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. Now, quickly, after the miss three from Joel Embiid. Now, quickly, shoots over Melton. And it's quickly missing. Clearly, the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Milton with it. Embiid with a screen on Randall. Milton kicks to Embiid. Lock at six. Good on the three-point shot. Embiid's got 19 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. I'll tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Now, here's Milton. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jalen Brunson. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And the 76ers making a change here. House is checked in. Up, up, up. 
no good at the strike this time. His second misses also. Usually free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. There at the pass to Randall. The pass to Brunson. Two drop shot. Randall down low. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. James Harden. He's checked in for Philadelphia. Philadelphia leading by five. To the inside. Here's Melton. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got five assists in the game. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Now here's Brunson. Yes, that goes in. Brunson's got 32 points in the game. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plan. Got a piece of it. And a fast break now for New York. Barrett dishes to Randall. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Niang. Kicks it out to Harden. And it's off from three-point range. Knicks trail by five. Passes it to Hartenstein. Inside. Here's Randall. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. Randall's got 25 points. For Randall, another bucket. He continues to expand his offensive game. Brunson against Harden. High post and B. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Brunson against Harden. Randall from outside. And he's good on the three ball. Randall's got five points now in the quarter. In helping the team space the floor there, Randall with so much more confidence now from the outside. Harden up top. Brunson covering. And yes, it's good. Harden's got 18 points now here in the second half. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can help afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he plays with no fear, and he certainly knows how to put the ball in the basket. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Philadelphia. You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. And another area they've separated themselves has been their three-point shooting, making the defense pay for any airspace. And he makes the first. And the Knicks making a change here. Both free throws, good for Brunson. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. In the corner, it's Melton. No good on the three. The Knicks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And Robinson throws it down hard. Huge size disadvantage for the defense. You might as well just get out of the way when that's the case. Now, here is Harden. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Brunson. And here we go. Brunson heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway layup. Now it's a four-point New York lead. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Harden against Brunson. Now, here is Harden. Guarded close. And he can't jam it through. New York with the ball. They're on a 15-4 run. 
Here's Grimes. Pass to Brunson. Robinson a screen on Hart. Shot clock at six. Brunson, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws, good for Brunson. The 76ers trail by six. Now, here's Melton. He doesn't hit that one. Some solid defense from Robinson. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Yeah, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. There at the pass to Brunson. Fades. And it's Melton with the rebound. Philadelphia's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Harden trying to get open. Melton, no good. And the Knicks with possession. They're on a 17-6 run. Stolen. Last break, Philadelphia. Throws up. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Julius Randle picks one up. Five. Elbow. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Melton hits them both. And here's Brunson. He dishes it to Barrett. The feed to Robinson. Back to Barrett. Launches it. By Grimes. No good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Here's Nian. Can't tie it up as that one misses. The Knicks with the lead. Handle outside. Tank in off the glass. Handle's got seven now in this quarter. 76ers shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%. Not playing with as much energy here lately. And the 76ers call time here. Tobias Harris has checked in for Daniel House. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. I told him this is gut check time. This is when it gets real and when it gets fun. We're here to play in these big moments. Let's make this one count. Kevin, by my count, that's five cliches. Thank you, David. Harden. There's the pick. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Harden's got 30 points. 
Here's Grimes. Pass to Randall. The pass to Barrett. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. Good on the triple. Barrett's got ten points here in the second half. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there will be more in store. Harden pitched in the end. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Brunson. Good D by Embiid. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Niang passes to Harden. They set the pick to take the lead. It's rebounded by Brunson. Brunson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. At the elbow, Randall. That one falls. Randall's got 32 points. What a huge boost he's giving them here. Four or five in this fourth quarter has come up big. Milton with the ball. Harden right side. And the layup falls. Harden's got six here in this quarter. How good is that? Harden commanding the ball in these moments. Love stepping up at crucial times. The three, Barrett. The rebound by Niang. Philadelphia's gone a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Harris. Randall with the block. Well, you can't go up weak against Randall. Otherwise, he's going to block it. The Knicks shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Here's Grimes. Now here's Brunson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on James Harden. off on the first. He's off on the second. The 76 are shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Harris finds Harden. Down low, there's Embiid. No up that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Randall dishes to Barrett. Randall down low. Harris is there. And Randall throws it down. Calm when it counts. Randall has that flex DNA. And the 76ers call time here. They trail by two. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. Fifty-one left in the fourth quarter of this one. Robinson against Embiid. And good! He nails it. Embiid's got it all tied up now for Philadelphia. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want to take it. The big shot. The shot's good from Brunson. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when he counts. 
you know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Barrett setting a pit for Brunson. Embiid comes with a double team. And then Robinson slams it in. You can't talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Well, I tell you what, guys. The kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. Oh, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stop. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Harden. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And you know the ball's going to Harden when the game's tight. Terrific at delivering and producing down the stretch. Real good, James Harden. Certainly not the guy you want at the line in this situation. Harden is much in the clutch. A big time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going 100 miles an hour right now. And O passes to Robert. Yes! Seems to have a knack for putting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. From deep Harden, it's good! And he has brought them to within two points. Man, they're getting a fantastic effort from James Harden right now. 30 seconds left in the game. And now they decide to foul intentionally. <laughs> and so they foul intentionally. a four-point ball game. Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. And the 76ers call time here. They're trailing by four. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. from nine. Robinson pulls it in. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker.
And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. Can't waste any time here. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick pop. It falls! And he has brought them to within two points. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. the first one to fall trying to focus now on the second and he does get the second one and that makes it a three-point lead there's 10 seconds left to play in the final quarter Elton pitch to MB here's Niang misses the train and there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Never good to lose a player to fouls. But fortunately, he's not the only talent they have. they got other guys that can fill his spot. This is the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's able to hit the second one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. So a close game sees New York take this one. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.